So yes, there's six steps, or sometimes we can call them parts or movements. And really, I'm going to break it down into kind of two categories beyond that, two conditions and core moves. So first, the conditions. So the first one, Jean called it clearing a space. And this is really about coming into the body in a grounded, centered way. And we can kind of do that in a more bottom-up way with breath work, with movement, touch, uh, a body scan, or a bit more top-down where we kind of ask the body what's in the way of me and feeling just fine. And then what, whatever comes, whether it comes as a thought or a sensation, we visualize putting that down beside us uh, at just the right distance. And either way, you can come to a place where there feels like there's a space inside, there's some room to do some focusing work. And so clearing the space is really a way to begin, but it's we want to stay in that calm ventral part of our ventral vagus part of our nervous system throughout the practice. Um, and if we lose that, we can come back to it. And then the second one, which is actually step six in the six steps, is receiving. And this is about having this welcoming attitude. Sometimes we call it the focusing attitude. It's a way of being friendly to whatever is coming in our experience and creating a space to, to listen to whatever wants to come. So that something will come and talk to us. Uh, and so important in that is being non-judgmental. And it's quite helpful to bring some heart presence. So heart, the hand heart um, on the face, these different ways of bringing heart energy, heart centeredness are really helpful. And receiving is also a way to end the practice, taking a moment to thank your body for whatever came in reviewing. So this is a way to be throughout the practice and begin and end. And then what do we do in between? Well, this is where we work with the felt sense. And I'm gonna go through these four moves or steps. So the first one is, is inviting the body for a felt sense. And we can start that with a, a, an issue that we have in mind although we wanna check then to see if the body is a green. <laughs> Sometimes the mind wants to do something and the body's like, uh-uh, not with you, not now, whatever. Um, and so it, the felt sense must form. At, sometimes we'll talk about it a bit and then something will come physically, or we just ask the body what wants attention and we wait for something physical, physical to come. So the felt sense is primarily physical, but there are four aspects to the felt sense. Uh, there's often emotional qualities in the felt sense, uh, usually more than one. Very often there are thoughts that come and it's really nice to notice the fresh new thoughts. What's coming that I've never thought about before? And very often memory, right? Does this feel familiar? And we can go back to memories or we have a sense that we've been here before. So once we have a felt sense, then we want to know what it's all about. Because sometimes we have some sense of you know, where it is in my body, it's in my belly, and it feels yucky, but we don't know why it's there. And so one way of getting that is asking the body, what's the essence of this? Why is this here? What's coming? Um, and we ask the body in this really broad way. So it can sometimes come as a word or a phrase, but sometimes it comes more poetically, like a metaphor or an image. And, and sometimes these come quickly, they come clearly. And when that happens, this fourth step resonating kind of happens at the same time. So the, the energy, the feeling of the felt sense and the feeling of the handle, they match so well. We would say they resonate. Um, and usually when that happens, there's a shift. There's a little shift. The body says, ah, yes, that's it. But other times it takes some time. So the, the words that are coming, they don't quite match. They're in the neighborhood, but it's kind of like, oh, not quite. And so then this resonating step takes longer. We go back and forth between what it's physically feeling, the felt sense, the word options or images that are coming until there's that resonance, until there's that match. Um, and so very often the, these felt shifts that can come anytime, uh, very often they come at this, these moments where the, the handles, the words and the felt sense are matching. And the felt shift is the heart of the process of focusing. And it is grace, the felt shift. We can't control when it happens, but certainly uh, we can notice little felt shifts. And sometimes we get bigger ones that come with paradigm shifts. I learned from Ginny Whitelaw, who's a physicist, 
resonance is how energy changes form and it's how change happens. And I think that's so true that when we get the handle and the felt sense resonating, that's when there's those movements in our focus and practice. So then once it's a match, then we can check, is the felt sense still there? And if it's still there in your body, still in the same place, it wants to say more. And so we go to asking and we can ask questions. What else does it want you to know? What's the worst about this? What does it need? These are examples of questions. There's a few others, but there aren't that many. There's, there's a pretty short list of questions that really help um, the felt sense unfold some more. And, and then that is the process. And then you would go to six. Now, of course, you can go to all of these moves many, many times. If you think about focusing as kind of like dancing, if you are dancing to a song, you might spin many times, do double steps many times, you might freestyle. So we go, we go through these in any way that serves the body. And uh, that's the six steps. <laughs>